All right, good morning everyone and welcome to this year's second Oceanside High School Signing Day. So if you're wondering about the crew here today, we are members of the high school broadcasting class. All the pictures we take today and a special Sailor Station episode about this event will be available within a few weeks. So don't worry because we will share all of this with your athlete. Now before we begin, I would just like to ask that everyone please maintain the safety guidelines put in place, meaning please social distance, use hand sanitizer if you have, and at all times, please keep your mask on even when we take pictures. Today we recognize the athletes joining us today who are moving on to the next big chapter of their lives. Before we introduce the athletes, I would like to introduce the principal of Oceanside High School, Dr. Brendan Mitchell. Good morning. It is my sincere pleasure to welcome you to our second signing ceremony of the 2020-2021 school year. Uh, as we all know, this has been a year like no other. However, as the spring comes along, the weather gets warmer, uh, it's ceremonies such as these that let us grab a little bit of normalcy, a bit of recognition, and a bit of celebration for those who so greatly deserve it. Before we begin with our athletes, I want to thank our custodial team, the buildings and ground team, and security team for their work in putting this together and their work for all our athletic events throughout the year. I would like to thank Dr. Harrington and our district administration, our building administration, and our school board for helping us make this a reality. And of course, the work of our athletic director, Mr. Jeff Reisner, and our NCAA coordinator, Mr. Frank Luisi, for being instrumental in all of this. Also, I would like to thank our teachers for their work in creating classrooms that foster our academic pursuits and our school counselors who put in countless hours helping turn these pursuits into college aspirations. Of course, I'd like to give a special thanks to our coaches whose effort, guidance, and leadership continues to put Oceanside Athletics on the map. I need to give a tremendous amount of thanks for Ms. Audrey Miller and her entire class for what they are doing today and what they've been doing for our streaming capabilities throughout the year. Getting our events streamed, uh, Ms. Miller has taken on a brunt of that work and we thank you for that. I wanted to thank all of you, the parents, uh, for the late nights and early mornings, uh, the long weekends, I'm sure the lost sleep and endless dedication. It's your effort that has helped make this a reality as well. Finally, to our student athletes, thank you. Thank you for representing Oceanside, and thank you for demonstrating the commitment to athletics and education that has made this all possible. Congratulations to all. Thank you so much, Dr. Mitchell. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the honorees here with us today. So today we have Michael Birkov attending Fordham University for swimming. Tyler Cinnamon attending the State University of New York at Cobleskill for soccer and baseball. Shannon D. Dominica attending the University of Scranton for lacrosse. Zach Dekorski attending the State University of New York at Cobble Skill for baseball. <laughs> Zach Horowitz attending the State University of New York at Plattsburgh for baseball. <laughs> Isabella Lazaro attending Marsis College for soccer. <laughs> Joe Pagano attending Hartwood College for lacrosse. Jonathan Rosano attending Russell Sage College for baseball. So these are today's honorees. Now we would also like to recognize everyone behind the scenes who have helped these student athletes reach this level. The hard work of our athletes is never ignored and the immense support that their families bring is very much appreciated. Thousands of young athletes work hard to get to your level of success and we applaud the dedication that all of you have shown. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the Oceanside Director of Athletics, Mr. Jeffrey Reisner. Thank you, thank you. 
Uh, so I too want to welcome everybody to our second college signing ceremony uh, this 2021 academic year. Uh, in sports, and I spent a lot of my life in sports, uh, I can tell you all the memorable moments that I've had, my family's had. Uh, this is indeed a memorable moment for you, the parents, to witness the kids that are going to be going on to college to play a sport and to study. In my mind, there's no better marriage, it's a home run, so congratulations. Uh, today we honor and celebrate these eight student athletes committing to continue their academic and their athletic careers. Uh, since I've taken this job, uh, I firmly believe that there is a place for everybody if they want to continue their career academically and athletically, and we work very hard to ensure that. So today, perfect example of these youngsters who are going to go on to college and study and play, and again, it couldn't, couldn't be a better situation. Uh, your hard work that you've spent the last four years will pay off the next four. I've always maintained in my career the next four years of your life, the next four years of your life will make the next 40 years of your life. So enjoy it. Hopefully you remember I told you that because someone told me that when I was a freshman in college. Four years make the next 40 years of your life. Thanks to our Board of Education, thanks to Dr. Harrington, our superintendent, who totally supports our athletic program all the time. Uh, our Board of Education, who I just thank, our central administration, some of who were here today. T thanks to our principal, Dr. Mitchell, all the assistant principals, my right hand, my left hand, my middle hand, my upper hand, Frank Luisi, my, my other hand, right hand, left hand, upper hand, Ms. Janet Marks, who's not here, but she's back in the office, my secretary all the guidance counselors, all our outstanding coaches who put so much time and effort into uh, being with our kids. Uh, I want to thank all our teachers in Oceanside High School. There's nobody better, no, nowhere better in the country than Oceanside High School. Also want to thank, also want to thank Mrs. Miller. I've been to MSG, I've been to Yankee Stadium, I've been to CBS. Nothing better than what she puts on here with these kids. So I salute Mrs. Miller and your group. It's unbelievable what you do here. Again, to make these kids enjoy this moment. Uh, and last but not least, I have to say again, Mr. Luis, he's been such a great force behind this college program that we put together. So, Mr. Luis, I want to thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for all you do. Enjoy the day, enjoy the moment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Reisman. Thank you, Mr. Now Reisman. Is my honor to now is my honor to introduce the NCAA Mr. Frank Luis. Mr. Frank Luis. Guys, we, we're in a special moment and we want to congratulate you and we want to commend you on your courage and your faith and your belief to never give up. And that's why you're here. And the other reason is that you have the greatest support team around you, your parents. We want to thank each of you parents for what you've done and the support you've given each of them and also the support you've given us as coaches, teachers, our counselors, school counselors, Mr. Reister, our administration, Dr. Harrington, our principal, Dr. Mitchell. So you see guys, all of you have something in common and all of us have something in common. Just like we have in common that day when Dr. Brown, remember, was in the front and talked about how we were gonna overcome Hurricane Sandy, somehow we were gonna find a way. Well, in the same way, Dr. Harrington, Dr. Mitchell, Mr. Reisner, they said, we're gonna find a way. You know, we're gonna find a way to keep you going. We had an academic recovery program. We had an athletic recovery program, a college process. We had counselors and coaches working all together, and teachers to help you keep going. And the result is that you came today. I especially like to thank uh, all of the coaches who worked so hard to continue giving faith and belief to each of these young people, Mr. Madden, you know, Mr. Bastillo and, and Mr. Manning, Mr. Reisner, and Coach Turk and Coach Blount and, and Mrs. Winchester, um, Mr. Montero, Ms. Saleo, Ms. Puma, um, Mr. Reisner, who is a coach helping other coaches, and our people, who in our, our, our administration people, from Dr. Harrington and Ms. Ms. Bravito and Dr. Droza, all, every, all in the central administration and our principal, Dr. Mitchell, because these people and our assistant principals, Mr. McKeel, Mr. Ms. Ms. Bazoon, our, our head of counselors, Mr. Carbonetti, and each of our counselors and teachers, what they did is they did this. I've had this happen in my life as, a, as, a, as an student athlete. 
I didn't, I had an adversity I faced, and I just, it was really a tough, a tough one, even as a coach. But someone came up to me and said, like Dr. Mitchell and Mr. Reisner, Dr. Harrington, each of your coaches, and they said, it's okay, we believe in you. Someone said that to me, I believe in you, in the toughest time. And each of you come to talk to me, Mr. Reisner, your coaches, Dr. Mitchell, it's never, well, you know, we don't really care. It's, it's okay. It's okay. We believe in you. I believe in you. Your parents believe in you. And that's what today is. A day where people celebrate because they believed in you and now you're going to go out and you guys are going to believe in yourself and in the people that you serve as leaders on your future team. And every one of the coaches here have taught you that. We're so proud of you, and forever we will be proud of you, not by how many home runs you hit or how many goals you score, though that's going to be great too, but by you always being the good and beautiful people you are that you've learned from your families and from our people that set the tone, like Mr. Rice and Dr. Mitchell. You have that forever. I, you know, you guys are going to talk this, but I'm not, you know I'm not just saying this. We really believe in you. So go, go far. Be so happy, and the next 40 years of your life are going to be, as Mr. Rice has said, a special time. Thank you all so much. Thanks, Bob. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Now, um, everyone, please give us a minute to reset for our interviews. Hello, my name is Michael Garcia, and I'm here with Jonathan Rosano. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. All right. So playing in a summer league helped you to get accepted into Russell Sage College. Were there any specific ways in which the summer league helped you to improve your skill set? Um, you got me to play more games and keep working on my skill. Great. Yeah. So... Is there anything specific about the Russell Sage College that personally piqued your interest into attending? I uh, like the campus, I like the facilities they have. Right. Cool. All right, and then last question. How has playing at Oceanside affected you as a baseball player and as an athlete? Um, I got a lot of work put in. My right. coaches helped me along the way. Nice. And they, yeah. All right, uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now I'm here with Tyler Cinnamon. So Tyler, this year marks the first time that any of Oceanside High School's baseball players have played at a varsity level. Is there a significant difference compared to playing at a junior varsity level? Um, it's definitely a big step in competition. Um, I've been playing a long time just out of, out of school for travel, so I think I'm ready for the step, but it's definitely going to be a big step from JV, definitely. Definitely. So. So far this year, what has been your proudest moment as an athlete on the field and as a baseball player on the field? Um, my proudest moment, definitely just going on the field and pitching every game that I pitch, just getting through long games full and just getting wins. Great. So baseball is widely known as a sport that relies heavily on uh, team coordination and cooperation. How would you say that your teammates have helped your varsity team to succeed so far? Um, my teammates are <laughs> they're great kids. Um, I've been playing with them for a long time already, my whole life basically, and I'm even going to the next level to play with one of my teammates, so it's going to be great. Uh, I think we're going to win a lot of games this year.